So this morning, I want to preach the message that it's time to move on. When I hear that word, the first thing I'm here to say is move away. And the way God has designed us, He hasn't designed us to be stagnant. Hallelujah. He has never designed us to be what? The stagnant. He doesn't want us to be stagnant in the spirit. He doesn't want us to be stagnant and he doesn't want to be stagnant. Someone says, the church is a reflection of the society. Also, when things is happening, then you need to change. Oh my God, said, oh. At the beginning of the year, people have a lot of resolution. This year is going to be a year of breakthrough. Then you ask. But a man, you must think that I, I like all these positive words, but also I need to go with the word of God. Now, you now go then. He said, it is time for you to do us. To move on. Say that to your to the first to you, it's time to move on. You see, the Bible says they want the mountain. And I want to assure you this morning, I want to let me tell you this morning. The mountain can deceive you. Eh? The mountain can do what? Can deceive you. Because you are just on the top and you think that where you are is where you're supposed to be. But God will actually have a better plan for your life. Just because you are there now, you might feel comfortable. That you know where I am now. Ah, uh, 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 that is good. There's no other thing. But God promised over your life. Still, God promise over your life still remains. But if you decide to stay on that mountain, then it is your choice now to stay on that mountain. Now let me, let, let me give you another another step of it. Your mountain is a value to someone. So don't don't let mountain do what deceive you. Just because things is moving up now, it doesn't mean that you have arrived. The reason why your mind is so well, our mind is so limited, is because we cannot see what is afar. I can't see what is afar off, and what I focus not now is what I can see. So then, what I can see is limited me to where I am now. I'm not seeing something else, but the only thing I'm seeing is this is just what God said to you. Sometimes you are those in that place. You just feel like you know what? I people just ask to give to me. I'm not talking about hands. When I hear the word give, automatically people think I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about giving to God. God said, but it's time for you now to do what? To stand up and say, you know what? The limits of me being a beggar is now for time for me to do what? To go and stand up from the mountain where I am. It's time for me to do what? But when you are working in the dynamics of God. Nobody will understand. Are you getting me now? When you are working on what? On the dynamics of God, your family will tell you that you are stupid. Your friend will tell you you are stupid. But it's time for you to, to do what? To move, to move on. You can have all the promise of God in your life. But if you still have rebellion in your spirit, nothing will happen to you. You will just be a bystander. Or you are going to just be what? A spectator. First thing I saw that. Most of the thing there is there's what we call re-evaluation. A man cannot move to another level without doing what? Evaluate your life. If the way I was last year is the way I see now, then there's something wrong in the system. Are you getting me now? I don't know how you are last year. Are you getting me now? If the last year was just like just do, and I don't know. But now, God said, call you into another light. I'm expecting you to move on. Because every stagnant water is going to smell. If there's no re-evaluation, what is making you to feel miserable? You can never change your life. I want to ask you this question. Are you satisfied with what you have now? You see, when people are clapping for you on the mountain, that is when you know that you should run. <laughs> eh? Ah! Wow! You are a good man. Yes, glory be to God. But you know what happened? Every time they clap for Jesus, what happened? He said, let's do what? Let's move away. God wants us to be responsible. He wants us to do what? Move on. Not sit down and nothing will happen. The second thing he told them is look. Remember the promise of God, what? In your life. 
So anytime you are going to move on, you've got to go back for the word, the promise of God. Now, the question I want to ask me now this morning is, you cannot ask me to move on. The question I should ask myself is, what is keeping you where you are? Eh? What is keeping you where you are at the moment? Because my mountain might not be your mountain, isn't it? Some people's mountain is an anger. Some people's mountain is jealousy. Some people's mountain is envy. Some people's mountain is laziness. Some people's mountain is gloom. People tell a lot of stories. I remember when I gave my life to Christ, I was used to have said, well, okay, the question I'm asking is, what are you now? It's time to do what? Thank you so very much for watching Liberty Family Church on YouTube. For more messages, uh, chats, and other Christian content, please subscribe and like our channel. God bless you.